I have a cunning plan. What, have you got a plan, my lord? Yes, I have, and it's so cunning you could brush your teeth with it. Well, it's, a, it's the start of a cunning plan. I can't see any subtle plan. Well, Rick, you wouldn't see a subtle plan if it painted itself purple and danced naked on top of a harpsichord, <laughs> singing, subtle plans are here again. Uh, today is Sunday, and I have just published, uh, earlier this week I published, my first of the new podcast, of Grey Matters podcast. Uh, and it was kind of a soft launch. We just put it out there, the first episode out there, but we included messages about it today, notification about it today in our newsletter, which goes out to all of our subscribers. And I'm just looking at my analytics and people are starting to watch the podcast, listen to the podcast, I guess. And we are starting to get feedback on it. And uh, now I'm really anxious to see just how well it lands and to see what happens with it. But the podcast is a crucial part of my cunning plan. That's what we're going to talk about today here on, on the vlog is, is, is my plan for the new year, which this vlog has been so integral in the design of. So uh, humor me, uh, if you will, as I share and outline the plan because you're involved and I'm going to need your help and support and feedback to make it what I hope it will be. So let's fast forward, let's fast back to the beginning of this year, uh, in the beginning of 2018, when I decided that we were going to grow the Dotto Tech YouTube channel, push, really push hard. We were always trying to grow it, but we were going to be really aggressive. And I hired a consultant, I hired uh, Jeremy Vest to help me figure out what we were doing right and wrong on the YouTube channel and cause it to grow and, 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 to, and to help it grow. And the one thing he came back with, uh, amongst other very good recommendations, was he wanted me to start doing a vlog, which is this vlog here has grown into. But he wanted me to do a vlog on productivity stuff like the main YouTube channel has. When I started to have free form, just having conversations, I started to talk about my passion, which was what it's like being a baby boomer in the digital age and the effect that it's having on us and just, just those topics, which obviously this vlog has grown into. Now that was disconnected from the main content of the YouTube channel. So we split the channels into two a few months ago and the, the vlog channel here continued down the path of talking about to baby boomers about our life in the digital age. And you folks have been so great in giving me feedback, engaging in conversations, and you've led me down the path to realize that there is a real need and a real burning desire for baby boomers and Gen X to learn more skills as we are as we reinvent ourselves in the digital space because the world's changing around us and we need to change. We need to we need to adapt. And at 60 years old, I am not my dad at 60, and I know you're not either. Uh, I don't think of myself in any way the same, in the same kind of place in life as my father was at 60, other than chronologically, I'm 60 years old. So I still got lots of tank, lots of tank in the gas, <laughs> lots of gas in the tank, uh, that I want to inject in, that I want, that I still want to, I've got miles to go yet, but as far as my career goes and I'm constantly reinventing myself. And so are you. So out of that conversation, I was led to the point of saying, well, we need some role models. We need people who are engaged in the digital space and successful in the online world to lead the rest of us and to, to work as an example and to kind of be, to be a, a focus as so many of us reinvent ourselves or reimagine what we're doing and, and embrace the online space for us. I've said this statistic before, I'm sure on this vlog, but 12,000 of us in North America retire every single day, 12,000, that's just North America. And a fraction of those people are in a position financially to retire and even less want to retire. And so some of them are able to find more work in their space, but very few because there's ageism. It's very hard to get a job. Uh, and, but many, uh, have not yet embraced the online world, social marketing, content marketing, that space in order to discover what, how they can take their skills and translate them into that online space. So that's what this vlog has been about. And that's what gray matters. The podcast is certainly about, and it's kind of at the, at the, at the focus of what I'm planning for the new year. So it was really important for me to, as we launched the new podcast, to share the plan with you because for three reasons, one, I'm excited and I want to share it with you Two, You have been instrumental in the creation of this 
fledgling direction that our brand is taking. And three, I rely on you for feedback because you see, as you've been instrumental in it, I need more feedback from you to make sure that we're moving in the right direction and we're going to create content of value for us all. So here's the product mix on, as we go ahead, the Dotto tech channel is going to continue. I'm still going to be doing productivity tools, you know, Gmail, Google stuff, all of that stuff is going to continue as is normal in the Dotto tech channel. But in the gray zone over here, where we're talking to baby boomers and Gen Xers, uh, we are going to be continuing with this vlog, which is really a personal look at aging in the digital age. Uh, so it's a lot more about the social side. But for the business side, for the skills development, that's where the podcast comes in. The podcast called Gray Matters is designed to teach you skills so that as you reinvent yourself or as you take different steps in the online space, you can learn what you need to learn in order to be effective in that space. It's a lot about content marketing. It's a lot about community building. It's a lot about online video. All of the skills that are required to be successful in the online world is what we're going to be talking about in the podcast. Now, the first episodes of the podcast are just me talking to you. Uh, and, uh, and, and I'm not yet really 100% happy with the format and with the flow of the, of the podcast, but I know that that will evolve. I know that once it's out there in the wild and I'm getting feedback and I listen to the podcast again, I will have a much more solid feel of what I want to do with the podcast and make it more valuable. So that's going to take care of itself as far as the content mix. As I say, the first few are just me talking to you, uh, but very soon we will start adding interviews. Now, the podcast is only going to be available as an audio product for the most part. The podcasts that I do solo are only available as a podcast in iTunes or Google or different uh, uh, typical podcast platforms. But when I have an interview, when I do an interview with somebody, I'm going to record the entire interview and we will post it here on the YouTube channel as a uh, kind of a raw interview, just unedited so you get to see the entire background. The podcast, I'm going to aim for 30 minutes to 45 minutes per podcast, but the interviews will be much longer than that. So uh, when I post them as a video, they will be the full unedited version. I think that's a nice mix. I, I did record the first few audio only podcasts as video. And when I looked at them, I thought, I, I, I don't think they belong here in YouTube. So I don't plan to post them. I I'm, I'm, I'm pretty firm on that. I could change my mind. I'm a little, but for the most part, I just don't see the value and I don't think that it brings a lot to the table. So I, I don't think we're going to be doing that. However, when I do an interview, since we, they will be edited and tightened, they will be posted and they will be NSFW. They won't, they'll be completely unedited. So if somebody drops a few F-bombs, get comfortable with it because that's going to be in that version if you choose to watch it. So looking forward to your feedback on how you feel about that mix. And the revenue side of it probably won't be very heavy on sponsorship, but I do see the revenue side of this business being quite heavy in affiliate marketing, selling products and selling other digital products. Uh, courses and on online products that help develop our skill set. And you'll see the first iterations of that in January. We're doing a project with Amy Porterfield. And so you'll see that coming down the pipe as well as we, as we look to monetize this side, uh, this side of the business. So looking forward to your feedback in all of those aspects. Uh, but this particular vlog this week was really designed to, to share with you the, my excitement about Gray Matters, the podcast encourage you to have a listen to the first full episode and give me feedback. And there is one point of conversation that I'd love your feedback on as well. And that is, I haven't decided yet where our home is going to be for this community. And, and by home, I mean, what social platform is going to be best to engage in conversations, to share back and forth? I mean, here in the vlog, the YouTube comments suffice. They're not great, but they certainly have worked well for us having a conversation back and forth and, and they've done okay, but they aren't a nice threaded comment area like we have in say Facebook, or you even have in a, in, in a platform like Patreon. So with the podcast, I have to decide where we're going to drive the community to have conversations. Now, people can post comments in the blog posts that, that are created as a part of the podcast, but I know many of us aren't 100% happy with what's happening on Facebook, and, and, and we, we're not. And some of you don't even want to engage in Facebook uh, at all. So hosting our conversation, hosting our community as a Facebook group, even though I have set that up, so I, and I will put a link in the description below and encourage you to join it, that's where we're starting the community building, 
but I'm not sure that's where we're going to end up with the community building. But I'd love your feedback. Is there a, is there a platform that you would feel more comfortable having conversations on? And, and there's not that many options, to be fair. I mean, we can have the conversations here on YouTube for that, that are supported on the vlog. But Facebook is really the almost the only logical one for a larger community and larger group. We could use Patreon. A lot of you support us on Patreon, but with Patreon, there is, even though we can set it up for free on Patreon, there is a feeling uh, that we're, it's, the, it's revenue based uh, that a lot of people have. You, we could set up the community and the conversation forum and all of that sort of stuff right within Patreon, but I'm not positive that, that people will, that, that that's is any more accessible to people than is Facebook. So would love your feedback and your advice on that. Maybe there's going to be something come out of the woodwork that's a great community forum for, for managing these conversations and helping to build our community. Uh, but right now it looks like it's going to be Facebook and I'm just not 100% on board with that entire concept. So I'm open to offers if you happen to, to, to think of one. So thank you very much. And I do have one huge ask is that please click on the link to our podcast, have a listen to the podcast. If you subscribe to podcasts on any podcast platform, I encourage you to subscribe, but mostly listen to our podcast and give us some feedback. Let me know what you think of it and suggestions for upcoming episodes. This is our product as we're working together. You folks are as important in the genesis and the fact that this podcast has come out as am I. So I'm looking forward to that feedback. And if you are so inclined, drop by iTunes and give us a review once you've listened to it. As far as growing and getting viral growth of any digital product, as far as a podcast goes, iTunes reviews are the holy grail. That's exactly what we need. So I encourage you, if you've listened to this vlog this long, uh, that means that you're probably right deep in the community. So I encourage you, give us, give us some extra support there and give us a review there on iTunes. With that, have fun storming a castle.